Today I'm going to show you how I built this 2.5 kilowatt portable power station. There are three reasons for building this project. First, as a grid down power source to power the refrigerator or essentials. Second, as a portable power source. And third, it's just fun. I want to do a quick walk around of the portable power station. So the lower section contains mostly the battery. The upper section contains mostly the electronics. There are two fans on this box. On this side, this side's pulling the air or the warm air out, and there's a fan on the other side pushing room temperature air in. So there's standard 120 volt um, AC output in the US, and then there's also 12 volt output. This side of the box has the main battery disconnect and also has the plug for shore power. There is a magnetically connected access panel where I can access all the electronics. If I pull this out, then you can see the electronics on the inside. There are three main components that you'll see in the upper electronics box. You know, one is the battery charger. This is a, a Victron Smart battery charger. Another is the automatic transfer switch, and we'll talk about that in detail in a bit. And then this is a 3000 watt, um, 24 volt DC inverter. So converts 24 volt DC to 120 volt AC and 3000 watt capacity. Some of the smaller pieces that you might see in there are a number of connectors that I use so I can dismantle and take apart pieces and you know service this easily. I also have a temperature controller here with a temperature sensor mounted up in the in the box to kind of sense the temperature and this controls the fans then. And then you can see things in the back corner. There are some um, circuit breakers in the back for you know protecting the electronics. The box is constructed using 2020 aluminum extrusion. So this is 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters. And then this panel is standard kind of marker board. It's a quarter inch thick and it fits nicely inside the grooves. There are a number of 8020 components that I bought off of Amazon, you know, including corner pieces, you know, angled gussets. This is a, an external gusset. There's also hidden internal gussets. There's one right here that you can barely see in the corner, right there in the corner. And then there's some custom pieces that I made myself out of just um, angled aluminum. This is a probably a half inch by half inch angled aluminum, and this is a, a flat piece of aluminum. Because I was going to take this box camping with me, I wanted to protect some of the electronic controls by having them inset into a little protective frame. So it's kind of a bump frame. If something bumps up there, it's not going to hit the, the actual controls. The other thing is this serves as a nice handle, you know, on this side. And then the same thing on the other side. So I have two handles that I can lift the thing by. And then the controls are inset. Yeah, I'm going to splice in some video I took down in the shop. It's a little bit noisier down there, especially with the light hum. Um, but at least we'll be able to see some more of the details that are inside each box. So here's that AC module fully removed from the battery box. And again, it just sits on these two, this ledge and this ledge. Got the 24 volt to 12 volt converter. This is all the 12 volt side. I will put the the AC panel or the, the AC outlets right here. This is the battery disconnect. And I will put the shore charger, the shore plug right here. So this is the 12 volt side of the box. So I have the 24 volt battery leads coming here and here to these two main single pole bus bars. Um, this is a 24 volt to 12 volt converter and output is connected directly to the fuse panel. And then the inputs of that are connected to the negative bus bar and the 50 amp fuse here. So it's a manual one you can turn it on and off and back to the bus bar so this creates 12 volts and all the 12 volt appliances or 12 volt outputs will connect up to this and have their own fuses 
And right now, the only thing I have that's on this side, it will be this panel. This panel goes on this side. And so that is connected up to that 12 volt fuse panel. So I've built uh, two trays for the AC parts. So this is the inverter with plenty of space for airflow. I'll have fans on, on this side and a fan on that side for pushing and pulling air. Um, this whole piece lifts up, it sits on a nice sh a shelf there. Okay, so that, that's secure that in there. Um, on this side, here's the, um, this is the automatic transfer switch. So I have to wire all of that up, um, but that's looking a lot better. The automatic transfer switch is a, a nice piece of equipment. There are two AC inputs and one AC output. When short power is connected, Short power is directly connected to the AC output, so no battery drain at all. The moment short power disappears, the inverter is feeding the AC output. All right, so I got the automatic transfer switch wired up one more time. Um, essentially, there's two inputs to this box, two, I would say, 120 volt inputs to this box. One is from shore power, which is this cable here. All right, and then the other one is from the inverter. So that's the other 120 volt, which is right here. And I ran it down because it's kind of a weird angle here. So I ran it down and then back up through the box. So the two inputs are shore power, which is here, and then the inverter right here, shore power inverter. And so what happens is if there's shore power, and then here's the output, let's talk about the output too. So it's just an out, outlet box there. And I'm gonna mount that right down below in this panel down here eventually. So output, let's talk about the output. The output is if there's shore power connected, then the automatic transfer switch connects shore power directly to these out outlets. If shore power ever disappears or it's not plugged in, or there's a blackout for whatever reason, then the automatic transfer switch switches over to the inverter power, which is powered by the battery. Okay, so then essentially you have a uninterrupted power supply. And the switchover is fast enough where most of your electronics won't even see the little glitch. The fourth cable coming out of here is I've tapped into directly into the uh, shore power. So when there's shore power, this actually has power. And then the smart charger is plugged into the to that. So if I have shore power, this is hot. The charger is charging my battery keeping it up, up to, you know, full potential there. So, automatic transfer switch. And again, this is the, uh, get the lid here, it's got the type. This is this. So the go power, 30 amps, so it's 30 amps, so all that is 10 gauge wire. Um, that's what that is. Here's a collage of photos I took while building the project. Again, I'm using an ampere time 24 volt 100 ampere hour battery. Um, you can see some of the initial design and you know the initial build phases. And then later on you can see some of the more polished phases too. If you have any questions on this build, please feel free to reach out and ask me. Happy to answer any questions. I did choose Victron components because Victron integrates well together and I enjoy their apps that I get on my iPhone so I can see and, and monitor the battery usage. I'll try to leave a, a list of parts in the description so you can you know, go try to find them yourself too. Again, thanks for watching.